Chris. Chris. I feel like we've done this before, Chris. Done this where we couldn't figure out how to get your audio up or what was going on. You know what I mean? You feel the same way, Chris? Uh, Duke! Oh, okay, sorry, fix it. It was a uh, Skype setting. Who is there? Is this Chris or Duke? Uh, this is Chris. Chris, you, dude, you fucking made it. Yeah, sorry, it's my Skype settings. No worries, you barely snuck in, though. So, hey, how you been doing, man? Uh, I've been pretty good. I have been relaxing playing this game uh pretty much all president's day i didn't do much else and uh just yeah yeah uh good job on making those uh swords by the way hey thank those you props. that looks like because you usually don't work with metal as far as i know with like prop making how, how hard was that um that i'm actually really comfortable working with metal and like a lot of stuff that i made uh just personally i've made out of metal and the original sword for uh, our Metal Gear Rising announcement trailer that yeah. Sean used is is made out of uh, steel as well. So uh, it was basically, you know, just kind of reproducing the, that same sword that I had already made. Uh, just with, like, way more detail in the hilt. And I, 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 I'll be able to go into it um, soon, hopefully. And, uh... Metalworking though is 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 something I'm pretty comfortable with, but it's it's it takes a long time. But yeah, I think I the, the end result is so. I mean, it's like fucking real. I mean, it's a real sword. Like you could really kill people with it. <laughs> it's a good thing you made a handful of them, and gave them away to the right people. Dude, I, I hope. I don't know. Maybe, fuck, dude. They ended up in the hands of the wrong people. You never Next know. Next time you guys film with Kojima and he doesn't like what you're doing, he'll bring the sword. Yeah. And it'll be your fault. True. You gave him that sword. True. I don't know if they have the technology to apply uh, alternating current through to it and still be able to hold on to it. Well, they made the game. They can make the technology. Dude, you're right. I shouldn't have doubted them. Yeah. Never doubt. When in doubt, never doubt is what they always say, right? Yes. I've heard that said many times in my lifetime dude yeah hell yeah. other than today what are you uh what are you up to did you enjoy your president's day weekend did you have a uh, I, weekend? I did i did not have one actually in uh, canada in canada we don't you have you guys don't have day. presidents no because we have a prime minister it's a different name so yeah. they just said screw the president's day did you guys have, have prime one. do you guys ever have prime minister day uh no how about prime rib anything. day where you just have steak uh, no, but I'm sure that could be arranged. You should arrange for it. Prime rib is, I should make is a pretty petition. good. Although, I mean, you know, some people try not to eat a lot of red meat, but, you know, every once in a while, have a prime rib. Yeah, I mean, you only need 25 people here to make a petition and have the government see it, so... 25 is all, really? Yeah, I, I think in the U.S. it's like, what, 300, 3,000? Oh, I have no idea. I've never signed... Uh, like I probably have signed petitions... Like, some cute hippie girl came by at the beach and was like, Sign this petition! And I was like, ah, okay. Alright. What's this for? Legalizing pot! Oh, shit. Okay, whatever. Well, it's a, good, it's a good thing you're straight edge. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this guy didn't even see me. Oh, what a total surprise. He was so surprised just now. Hey, well, I had an update on that uh, Valentine's uh, story from last time. Oh, yeah. So can you yeah. refresh the audience's memories and my own oh. with your Valentine's Day affairs? Right. You were going to well, ask someone uh, to be your Valentine, correct? Uh, sort of. Okay. Okay, what happened was, like, uh, one of my teachers I was talking with and saying, oh, I, I don't, I never have anyone for Valentine's Day as a joke. And That's said, right. Be my Valentine. That's right. And you were kind of creeped out because it's your I teacher. I was extremely creeped out. Uh, but you said she was kind of, she was kind of cute. Yeah. For, an for, woman, for an yeah. older, for an older mature yeah. woman. Would you say she was a cougar? Uh, I guess if she's asking students to be her Valentine. Yeah. She's on the That's, prowl, bro. She is. You know what they say. Uh, 
But I had an update that makes uh, the shocking uh, even the conclusion. Yeah? Yes. Thank you for the guitar segue. Sure. Uh, I have my class next to her class, one of my, uh, and uh, on my way out of my class, she was waiting at the door, and she was like, uh, did you make my Valentine's letter? And I didn't, because I thought it was a joke. What? Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck is a Valentine's letter? I don't know. That's what, that's what she called it, a Valentine's letter. Did you make my Valentine's letter? This yeah. is weird, man. So, uh, in the spirit of making a Valentine's letter, I took a blank piece of paper, wrote a letter on it, like the letter A, and just gave it to her and ran away. Oh, you, f you, you blew it, bro. I blew it. She tried to hand it to you on a silver platter, and you just, and you went for a cheap joke. Yeah. That was your chance to act. It, it was. Well, well, wait a minute. Was this, this wasn't a... This is a college professor or a, or a high school teacher? High school. Yeah. So maybe... For maybe, the better. Yeah, maybe it's for the better. Because how old are you again? 16. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what I remember. Okay. You did the right thing. I did it. You turned hey. tail and ran. Well, I heard about uh, you guys talking about the PlayStation 4 earlier. We were. Was that, like, announced or something? I'm yeah, Sony had a press conference today where they announced PS4, oh, okay. they showed the controller, and a bunch of other stuff. I don't know if they could show the actual... I had to start the stream. I think it was still going on when I started, but... Um, I don't know if they actually showed the body of the actual unit. Like, I'm really curious on what the aesthetic, like, shell of a PS4 looks like. I don't know why. It's you, you know, never. Like, that's not what makes it play games good. But I don't know. Yeah. I'm interested in that. I guess. I heard it has eight gigs of RAM, which is really that's cool. For a that's console. really cool. Because I think that was a problem with the um, the PS3. They didn't put a lot of RAM in it because they put so much in the PS2. They kind of lost their asses, and they realized it wasn't all that necessary. And then they made it even more unnecessary by putting eight gigs. Yeah, but RAM's cheap now. So. It is, yeah, that's true. It's like 50 bucks for 8 gigs. So whatever. Pass the savings yeah. on to us. A lot of people are going to complain about the price too, and, and I get that. But I think that's why the... And, and Nintendo's kind of been doing this, and they did it with the Wii U. They kind of stagger two different price plans. They tier it. They put like, hey, here's the low-level deal. If you just want it to play PS4 games, that's what it'll do. It's this much. But if you want like the deluxe top of the line, like center of your home entertainment like unit kind of experience here's the one with all the big ass bells and whistles and the backwards compatibility and all that shit i mean yeah. even though they're not having that because at least then i have that option you know yeah i don't know well i, I don't know if they announced pricing or anything like that though yeah i, I doubt I think it someone was mentioning the pricing uh on youtube on a comment section for like some computer parts i think they were saying something like 400 500 dollars yeah those are all but great guesses rumors. but you know it's yeah. it's a lot of kids out there just trying I mean, to guess i i think i'm fairly sure when the P playstation 3 first came out it was much more than 400 or 500 dollars right? yeah i believe a launch ps3 could be upwards of like 600 bucks yeah and this is uh you know even more in it so i think it would have to go up in price really inflation and the just the way the electronics work yeah could yeah. be but you know it'd be badass if they released like you know a 250 dollars version that just plays you know ps4 discs and then if you want the deluxe one that does all that other shit maybe then that's you know 600 dollars or whatever i don't even think 250 would cut Cover the cost of the hardware if they're putting like eight gigs in it and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. These are all. I'm not sure. Theoretical. But anyway, uh, I had a question about uh, Rising Revengeance, whatever it's yeah. called here. Yeah. Are you uh, it... are you playing this or are you and your friends playing? Uh... Oh no, I, I was thinking of getting it, but the problem is I don't have a PlayStation Three. It was this one of the games that they made like cross compatible with the Xbox? Or... Yeah, it's on it's on the 360 as well. Oh, well, I guess I have to check it out, because it looks actually really good. I believe there's a little better support as far as DLC uh, for the PS3, but it yeah. is on it is on Xbox 360, and yeah. I believe it runs just as good as um, 
as it does here. I just happen yeah. to have it on the PS3 because that's the versions that I got from Konami. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think the DLC matters to me particularly because I <laughs> actually don't use my Xbox for live at all. I just use it for single player games. I gotcha. But so. yeah, dude, I mean, if you like action adventure games, I would like definitely check this out. I And if you're a Metal Gear fan, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, that's why I want to check it out. I mean, it's I'm cool a story. Gear, but it's... I, got, I completely missed out on 4. Oh, okay. So that's, you know. It's, you know, the story of this is going to fit in more congruent with the stuff that was in 4 than, you yeah. know, 3 and not so much. 2, yeah. I mean, fuck, Raiden's a main character, too, so it's kind of cool to yeah. see him in a game again. I mean, I enjoy playing 2 a lot. Yeah? That's good. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't checked out the first one, but I've played the second and third uh, it, all the way through. That first really one's good. a little tough now. It looks so dated on the PS1. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, there's the twin snakes for the GameCube. That's hard as fuck to find, but I saw the GameCube actually. So. There you go. Although uh, I've heard that, that that game was not. Well, I know for a fact that game was not directed by Kojima, and I don't know yeah. if he really likes it. Well, Why was so hard to find? He got rid of them all. Uh, no, I just Play don't think that. I'm getting lit up because I'm not like taking any cover from these fucking automated guns. So. Uh, in this, uh, do you actually only have a sword, or do you actually have guns to yourself as well? Oh, you don't have guns. No guns. Yeah. It's all It's all sword, or, uh, there's sword aspects, but then there's, oh, I got that fucking hand. There's also, like, right now I have this pole arm thing that's kind of like yeah. a staff, but it also kind of turns into a whip, and it's great for multiple enemies. Um, yeah. But any of the downed bosses that you've, uh, vanquished I guess you could say you can get their weapons and then they become available to you to go buy in the store yeah with your uh, BP which I have a shitload of BP right now this actually looks like a cool mechanic though because I mean it's melee versus uh, guns basically well this room has some century guns and uh, most of the enemies you encounter are gonna have sword type weapons as well uh, every once in a while there's guys that use rockets and stuff like that Oh damn! That sounds. But hard you to get kill. you get rockets too, a la uh, right here. Oh. Boom. So and they 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 give you plenty of like grenades and rockets and like the supplementary weapons. So I really feel like I can use them just to have fun. They're always gonna give me a couple right before like a boss or some kind of QTE that yeah. I need them for. I love these little gecko dwarf tripod deals. This is some breakdancing move I like. I spin around on the floor a lot. <clears throat> well, thanks for calling in, Chris. Hey, yeah. No problem. Did you have any other questions? Uh, I, I could have sworn I had one, but I forgot it. Oh, dude. Talk about this game. Well, hey, uh, enjoy the stream. Hopefully it'll shed some light and you can make up your mind on if you want to get it or not. No, I think I've made up my mind. I want to check this out. Dude. You yeah, do yourself a favor. I don't think you're gonna dislike it, especially if yeah, if you're a fan of um, story-based action kind of stuff. Did you uh, check out Devil May Cry? Uh, I haven't really checked out any games lately. I found the secret guy. He was hiding in a box. I haven't really been able to buy any new games recently. Really? My headphones broken. I have to put my money into new headphones. Headphones come first, bro. It's true. Yeah, I mean, I can't play the game if I can't hear it. Come on. Yeah. You can't listen yeah. to System of the Down, then what's the point of living? Yeah. Come on. Duh. Oh, actually, I remember my last question now, actually. Because uh, you have the Razor Blade thing. Yeah. Is that like on a no-talking deal or what? No, no. We uh, we got one to use on the game stream. Um, yeah. I've just been so busy, I haven't had a chance to set it up, and no one else here has done it for me. So uh, yeah. that's my next kind of big project is to get... We're, 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 there's some there's some kind of big stuff coming with Mega 64 so part of it's gonna be that we're gonna get oh. uh, we're gonna start having capabilities of streaming in high def oh nice yeah all kinds of cool stuff like I'm pretty sure the razor blade that was uh, the laptop and it has those the little buttons that change for every game right on the side yeah you can program macros into the touchpad we yeah, use it on yeah. the, we use it on the podcast. But it's going to become the dedicated streaming uh, 
Yeah, I was laptop. gonna ask if you had a time. If, and and we'll be able to play. We'll be able to play PC games. Derek will oh, probably man. be end up streaming some Steam stuff again. I think, nice. uh, or for the first time, I should say. I'm I'm definitely interested in streaming. Uh, apparently, there's a Mega sixty four Minecraft server that I heard is pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get on it, bruh. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for taking my call, man. See Thank ya. you. Try I, to call in on Sunday if I have anything. Right on, dude. I appreciate it, and uh, I'll let you go. And I'm gonna fight Mistral. I think this was my favorite um, boss fight.